Okay, so I we set up an into care trap. And I'm trying to see if I can. And look inside. You see the little wiggly worms? We waited a month and a half. And it there are definitely larvae being deposited in the trap. It's been a month and a half since we set this up. We're kind of pushing it to see what happens. But you can see in the top me there is larvae swimming in there. Mosquito larvae. So this is what the intertrayer trap looks like. This is the top part and I took it apart. We focus it in there and what it is is it's got st stagnant water with this little screen that the mosquito lands on, the adult mosquito, to lay the eggs in the water. And then the water has an IGR and it also has bacillus and it also has a basically uh, beer yeast to attract the mosquito to lay their eggs here. So we're definitely seeing that, hey, there's plenty of larvae floating. You see that little thing? Little long little things floating at the top. Those are mosquito larvae. And uh, I mean, it's focusing on me now, reflecting. And there it is. You can see the larvae floating at the bottom and swimming around, the little wiggly worms. There it is. There it is, the little wiggly worm. So definitely at one month and a half, there's probably not enough product left to kill the uh, mosquito and it has to get replaced. We were trying to see if it would last a month and a half. Now we're not in the rainy season yet. It just started, we're in May. We're, we're actually the first day of June today, as of today. And this was installed, you know, six weeks ago. And so we're basically testing them. Uh, this is the first time we've ever used them, trying to figure out, you know, what the, what the control is on this. Now the way this trap works is you set it up and when the mosquito, the adult mosquito, let me show you how it works. The adult mosquito is, this net is treated, this little net, and it's treated with a bacillus um, product like a BTI, actually no, I'm sorry. It's not bacillus, it's a, um, that's not a mosquito flying around actually. So I'm in here in the shade, I'm not getting bit. Surprisingly, it is getting the control. Um, we are using also the bait, um, the final feed bait. Uh, but I'm here, look and see, I'm in the shaded area in the middle of the day where we should have 80s here, 80s Egypti and 80s Albopictus. And we're not, we're not seeing mosquitoes all around this thing. There should have been. So it is getting control. It is getting that reduction. Um, you know, if we had 80s Egypta in this corner that is shaded, there's no air in this corner uh, movement because it's blocked. It's between the house. So you can see there's, it's, it's a jungle in here. And it's between the house. We put it specifically there because that's gonna be a shaded area where air doesn't circulate. Mosquitoes are gonna love this area. Um, and, but uh, this is Bavaria bassiana. I'm sorry, Bavaria bassiana, getting back to this. And what it does is the mosquito lands on here to deposit their eggs and the larvae will hatch. And when they come in contact with that, they carry it on their body. They're also carrying pyroproxophen, which transfers at parts per billion to kill larvae. So the mosquito lands here, goes somewhere else because 80s Egypti mosquito do not um, lay their eggs in just one place, they're batches. They, they lay their eggs in different, so they're gonna find other bodies of water around this property. They're gonna carry that with them and transfer that pyroproxophen, which is the insect growth regulator, transfer it over to those bodies of water or parts per billion, but they're also carrying the bacteria in their body, which is gonna kill them and they're no longer gonna be able to breed. So it gives them enough time to go deposit and do their thing. 
and and that's the way it works. And then it uses uh, beer yeast uh, to be the attractant. And this water is already stagnant. It's not moving. There's organic matter. What are mosquitoes? That larvae, when it's born, it needs to have that bacteria in there from the organic matter, from the leaves, whatever's falling in there, in order to feed. And they feed on that bacteria in the water, and that's how they're able to grow those little bacteria. Um, and, and organic matter and, and just decomposing matter. And this is why stagnant water uh, attracts, you know, the mosquitoes because it's not moving, it's not circulating. That's what stagnant water is. Um, there's no flow. It's not like a river. Uh, these guys are not going to breed in rivers. But, you know, this is how IntuCare works. And so far it looks like it's working. we got to wait to hear feedback from the client we're going to have this service next week uh come in i'm doing the lawn care inspection and doing the lawn and the gardens and i decided i'm going to take a peek at this so there you go okay we set up this into care trap about six weeks ago and we're checking it and monitoring it now and we're going to be doing the filter replacement so all you got to do is turn it take it off and look inside and what I'm looking for is larvae and there is down there I don't know if you can see it there's larvae swimming around there you got the little wiggly worms so I'm gonna replace put the new tablets in and replace the little strap on here so I'm gonna show you how that goes Got a brand new pack here of the IntuCare. We'll open that up. And inside is the new little strap. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stick it a little floater back in there and there's two tablets in here and we'll take the two little tablets and we're just gonna put them inside, make sure they fall. Got them. All right, they're inside. You can see the bottom, the two little tablets are down there. The Buveria bassiana and everything is there. The pyroproxifen and the attractant. I clean this up. I'm gonna put it on there. All right, and then we just turn it on, clean this little thing out, and into care trap is set. Here's the other into care trap. As you can see, it's blocked off shaded area blocking it off from the wind and there is a lot of dead larvae in here that i'm observing 
compared to the other trap where there's a lot more organic matter. It's just dirtier, the other one. So we'll probably have to throw this out, completely rinse it, and put new water in it. It's kind of hard to... But I can see a lot of... There's, there's a mosquito there flying around this area. And there's, there's the larvae inside. You can see the larvae there floating on this trap, but much less than the other one. There is the tablet that it comes with at the bottom that have dissolved. And, you know, there's a little bit of mosquito larvae, I mean, uh, but not, not nothing, nothing's getting on me. I mean, I would have exposed my arm and if there's mosquito in this area, and there would have been a lot of 80s Egypti here. I would have been getting bitten, and I'm not.